All right. Well, let's actually let, let's let's start with injury news. A few players missing last week. Um, yeah. You know, Dave Major, Goldrick, Carl Cameron. How 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 are they all, and how, how are you fixed for this weekend? Yeah, both those guys are are back in, in contention. They're, they're both trained uh, this week, so that's good news for us. And uh, we we still um, without Will Randall. Um, we still is uh, we still um, without Lewis Macari. Um, Junior Marais has a bit of a, a problem, a small problem that he just, he picked up in in training without really, you know, without really understanding what happened there. It's just unfortunate, but it's not like a you know it's not like a big issue. Um, so yeah, we're we're pretty healthy. Overall. How has this week been? Because hearing you speak after the game last week, obviously you'd, you'd lost your voice from the amount of shouting that you were doing. So, what's been the process since that game for you? Uh, well, I, I, it, it, it's, it feels to me like we, um, you know, we, we've been on a we've been on a long crusade since I arrived here. I think you know we have to be be honest about that. I've been, I think. It's no secret I've been extremely demanding of the players, and um, you know to to continue even after a promotion, you know to to go and then reproduce again at a different level. I, I'm I think the players have done brilliant, but we just cannot we cannot stand still. If we stand still, we we'll go backwards, and that that's where I have to continue to try to to push the group as 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 much as I possibly can. Because we looked a group that were almost there, you know, we control the game, but slow, and we go backwards too much, and we're just missing that that spark. And um, it's my job. I have to try to push the players to continue, you know, because to 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 come off the gas now would would just be, you know, would just be a disaster. So we have to, unfortunately, we have to push through that, and we need. To demand more um, from everybody, and you know we we come into the to the point where we we play we play tomorrow. I believe uh, every team once, no. So now we we have an idea of the level and who is playing good and who who is struggling a bit more. And of course, we suffer some long term injuries that we didn't anticipate in the beginning because it's impossible. To anticipate every single thing, and and so we get to, we arrive at the midway point, knowing more, we've assessed more, and we have uh, possibly a chance to help the group bring in some fresh players, and you know replace the players that we lost uh, through long term injury, um, to you know to get the numbers correct again, and so okay we're we're there or thereabouts, but you know we want to do better. When you talk about those long-term injuries, we've spoken before about the importance of what Matty Palmer does in midfield. Is it is it too simplistic to just say that the results of late have been because you've missed what he offers for you in midfield? I mean, let's be honest. I, I've spoken for the whole of last season, you know, and and the first part of this season about Matty's influence, and I can't, you know, we can't get away from the fact that I pick him every week. You know, when he's fit, he played I think more minutes than any other player since I've been here. And I think he, he's a he's a player that that gives us a heartbeat and a rhythm that um, you know that that we don't have. We have lovely qualities. Other players of you know it's not about that. But Matty has a quality that we we find difficult to replace. Um, yeah, he's a he connect with me. You know, I think he'll play whoever was the manager. You know, because but. He connect with me in a way I know what he's going to give me on the pitch, and is very important for me. And he's a he's a irreplaceable guy. So some some affect negatively on the team, absolutely, of course. But we're better than one player. You know, we have to find a way. Um, but yeah, the, you know, the, the football is about players, and I've always maintained that. I think it's fair to say that. I'm fully aware that football is about the players and uh, the, my job is to try to give them structure and push them to get the maximum that they can but you know it's the players that make the big difference and uh, without Matty is certainly something there that is missing. 
you've not been used to a run of resources like this. I just, I just wonder whether um, it's been business as usual this week or has there been a bit of soul searching? Have you had kind of special meetings to kind of sit and try and just get some things out? Have you done anything like, like that this week? No, do you know what? We, we I think the, the thing that I'm most pleased about is we would win five games on the bounce last season and we had the same meetings that we have now. And I, I think, I think you'll you'll hear from the players that that's the truth. Even this season, we were top of the league, but the game that we won, I believe, the game that we won that took us top was against Forest Green, and we were two 0 up at half time, and we made a real pig's ear of the second half. And we had a we had a tough meeting and uh, you know tough training and tough words because that that for me was a a signal that not all is well. Um, and I can't, I can't be fooled by league position. Um, so, no, we we don't need to like suddenly have this big. Oh, you know, we now there's a problem. We didn't win enough games, and so suddenly the manager's going crazy. He's making meetings. He's making words and this and that. I've always been the same. I've always been the same. The performance is the is the key. If you want to have a if you want to have a nice week at Notts County where you come and you train and you you know, you feel quite relaxed and that play play really well. Play really, really well on the weekend and then you have a slightly more calmer week. But just winning a game, it can't pull it all over my eyes. If there's a problem with the performance and there's gonna be there's gonna be the you know, the uncomfortable week. So we we haven't changed. We haven't changed, we, we know where we are and uh, we know what we need to do to try to to improve our performance but if it was that easy, we'd all be doing it. So, you know, we 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 continue our process. As for Stockport, I mean, they'd had a, a, a few um, results that they wouldn't have wanted, and then suddenly, way to get out of it with an eight nil win uh, last week. Um, I, I, I'm interested in, in what they're doing this season. They're, they're flying at the top of the table. I wonder how much you place on the fact that this is their second season up there, that they've had a year where they just still did very well, top end of the table, but this year they seem to have really kicked on. How much do you think that might be down to the fact that they've had a year to do what you're doing now of adjusting and now they're really kicking on? No, I absolutely believe that, you know, and uh, thank you for the way you worded the question because I really do, I think that they're doing incredible things. I, do you know, I was uh, I was surprised that that I haven't really seen more of them because um, I saw maybe one game uh, last season because I was I was prepping uh, to, to to arrive here at Notts and so I started to watch some games and I watched them play Notts in the National League the season before and I thought oh wow this is a really good team and you know when when you can see um, when you can see that a team has been really well coached is you know you 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 understand that they have a very good manager and head coach. And then you see the, the level of the players. You you understand then that the club is trying, you know, to really um, be aggressive in the marketplace. So they have a nice combination. And then I, I didn't really see them too much until we start to pre- uh, prepare this game. Um, sometimes it's strange because you 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 preparing to play an opposition, and their last game was against Stockport, for example. And other times you don't bump into that team too many. You know, so yeah. like some teams in the division, I've seen a lot because they just happen to fall in a sequence where they play oppositions that we're playing, you know, um, close to them. So now preparing this game, I realise how impressive they are, what a brilliant job the manager is doing and what a, a brilliant job the club is doing. I, I agree. I think that um, that they had a, a season to, to get ready. I think that... I think probably, I don't know for sure, but if you speak to them, I should think that the season before they got promoted out of the National League, they felt like they were, you know, they were doing everything to get there and they didn't quite make it. So then they went again and they improved and they learned. Then they came up and have to learn a lot of, you know, a lot of things about the group, but they had a good campaign and uh, now they're making spectacular, you know, the run they went on, I don't care what anyone says to do that at any level in any league is incredible to go on that run that they went on and they're they're uh, quite clearly the standout team so 
I have enormous respect and I agree with you that I think they are quite clearly following a process where they learn and they improve on what they've learned and uh, I think I'll be I'll be amazed if they're not uh, if they're not champions this season I'll be amazed. Um, on a personal note, you've been spoken about a fair bit in South Wales this week um, because you're the bookies' favourite for Swansea, where you've been before. Uh, is there anything happened? Anything you can tell us about about those links? I think um, probably is natural, just because I, I worked there before, and uh, maybe somebody saw me in a coffee shop in Wales and put two and two together. But I actually lived there, so I've been living there for four years, nearly five years. So. Um, maybe it's this, but it's very flattering. It's very flattering. Um, you know, I, I I try to concentrate on Notts County. This is the club that embraced me. This is the club that gave me an, uh, an incredible experience. So I just concentrate on on repaying the the conf you know the, the the show of confidence that the people gave me here. The, from the from the owners to the to the spectators and the fans are incredible. So. You know, it's very flattering, but I need to concentrate on, on uh, doing my job here. Has there been contact from them at all? No, I think if you if you speak to, to the owners, they will tell you that that Swansea didn't call them. Um, you know, and that, that's... Uh, if, if, if there's an, uh, an official approach, then is one thing, but just people with talking. I think I was linked with... I was linked with uh, Bristol City and Oxford and different things. So I have the players to thank for that. It's their fault that I got linked because they played some, I think they played some spectacular football last season. And then they've shown they can be promoted and almost the entirely same group are managing to, to be in the top six in the, in, in the next division. So that's the reason why I'm linked is I blame them for that um, so no it's really it's really nice to think that people maybe uh, appreciate the work that I'm doing but I know that I'm part of a I'm part of a team and uh, that's what brings the attention Just finally uh, Christmas after this game before your next game on Boxing Day so what's the um, what's the plan for the players will they, will they be in or does it does it depend on what happens at Stockport? No I don't I don't think uh I don't think the right thing to do is to make a plan depending on on your emotions. So um, we we follow the, the same the same uh, exact uh, scheduling as, as we had last season. I think we played uh, Oldham on Boxing Day. For me, was was a outstanding performance that day. I think we got our preparation correct. So um, yeah, I hope that I really want all the players to enjoy their family you know because we have many guys as all football clubs do we have many guys from a long way um, you know where their family are and the people that are most dear to them are a long long way from Nottingham many of them so I want them to be able to to, to do their work and also spend time with their their family on a special day but we, we're happy with our preparations. Yeah. So are they in Christmas Day for a little bit then, or are you leaving them to kind of do family things that day? What's the what's what's the plan for Christmas Day? The Christmas Day is for them to be prepared to play on Boxing Day, but to spend some time with their family. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Luke. Um, like you said earlier, it is now like midway point of the season. You've played everyone once after um, tomorrow's game. So did you? Are you happy with where you're sat in the league now? Did you expect to sort of be here um, midway through the season? Honestly, I think it's dangerous to be promoted into a new division and uh, and have expectations we're going to do X, Y and Z. Um, so now we have a better gauge, no? I think it's, you know, we played every team after tomorrow, we play every team. So now we have a better gauge. Um, we lost some key players, so... Now we know, OK, the squad is not the same strength that it was when we began. I think that's just, we, that's just an obvious thing. So we know that we can compete to this level, but now if we want to go and push and, and go back to a position higher in the, in the table, 
we now have a much better understanding. We learn a lot. So I, I think would be really, I think, uh, arrogant to, for us to say, oh, we've been promoted and now we know exactly what we're going to be able to do. If you ask me, you know, you lost in the playoffs, how do you expect to perform next season in the National League? I said, no problem, we're going to be one or two because Chesterfield is brilliant. Listen, if Chesterfield went up with Wrexham, I would expect us to have won the National League. But to get promoted into a new division, I think would be too arrogant to say, I had expectations exactly what we're going to do at the beginning. I didn't. I was, I was focused very much on us trying to, to be prepared and to try and improve our margins from last season. And uh, now I have a better understanding of whether or not we've achieved that. Yeah, I think that um, that is an important thing. You talk about the understanding of having played every team once. Um, do you think now that the players have adjusted as well as the league much better, the ones that had come up with you from the National League? Some and, and some more difficult, definitely. I think that's, I have to be honest about that, that some players adapted well and others found more difficult. And um, three in particular, we, we lost. You know, we lost uh, the opportunity to see... Matty, of course, played more and we know Matty was very comfortable at the level. So that was, uh, I think we, we anticipated that and then we didn't have a nasty shock that he, he struggled. No, we, we anticipated that Matty would be able to cope well with the level and he did. Unfortunately, we, we lost um, Geraldo and we lost Kedwin for a long term. So we didn't, we didn't get a chance to see them equip themselves properly. But others, we learned. We learned plenty of things. We learned plenty of things, and that's what—that's the, the responsibility is to is to try to watch and, and study the the performance and see where we're at. And um, Stockport have scored quite a, in a couple of games, a number of a number of goals. They've had some big wins. Is that something that you focus in defensively on ahead of this game? Look, I, I think um, if you speak to anybody at Sutton, I'm sure they they set up to, to be really rigid defensively. So I think you have to be careful to try to just defend because this team will find a way to score if you defend. I think you have to have, get the balance between attacking and defending. You know, we, we've already, we know, I think we scored the second most goals. Oh, nice, you know. I think we scored the second most goals. I think um, probably the most goals before the last round of games, but... Um, we conceded too many so we have to continue to try to get this balance we have to get this balance correct that we have to try to remain a big threat on the top of the pitch and be able to cope with the opposition as well and that's the challenge and uh, and uh, we continue to try to fight to strike that balance and then finally I've got to ask about obviously the big the big other football news um, this week in the city of Steve Cooper going um, and obviously I think He's had a, a big impact on the city um, in terms of football, not just at, at Forest. What's your thoughts on on Cooper and and at his time at Forest? I'm I'm gutted that he's gone. Um, he's an unbelievable guy. He's been he's been brilliant. When I'll, I'll be honest, I, I think I, I probably missed a big opportunity to spend more time with him because the game is crazy with preparing games training and so on and then travelling travelling a lot to, to go home and travelling a lot to go to games and both both teams big schedules so I feel silly really that I missed an opportunity to spend more time with somebody that made an impact on me and he's quite clearly incredible you know I was working in the championship when he took the Nottingham Forest job and they were they were having a really tough time and uh you know that I don't think I'm not sure that will ever be repeated to take a team at that stage in the season in a bad place and go on to be that impressive and be promoted. I think no one should ever underestimate what he done, and Alan Tate alongside him is a top guy. Like he is a top guy, so I'm really upset. I, I I'm not. I'm not upset in terms of like he is going to be a top manager for a long time to come and he's going to get a top job pretty quickly if he wants it he might want some time but he's done let's be honest he's done a spectacular job he made uh, he made that side of the river bouncing again he done that he done that 
with the, the drive and the clarity of what he does. And if you speak to if you speak to any of the players, um, I'd be amazed if they don't tell you that they felt a part of something. They knew, you know, the manager talked to them in a certain way and make them believe and bring them a part of something. So I'm upset, but I think he's only got a bright future anyway. So I won't be too upset for him. And and Alan Tate will be, I'm sure, will be a team formidable team. Those two for a long time to come.